Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon and this is Frame by Frame and I'd like to talk today about the celluloid backlash. What's happening now is that a lot of filmmakers are deciding they want to return to film because it's got a certain quality that digital images don't match. And we're not just talking about independent filmmakers here, we're talking about people like J.J. Abrams who's directing Star Wars The Force Awakens and that's shot on film with practical effects. Quentin Tarantino very famously for his film The Hateful Eight actually resurrected a whole bunch of 70 millimeter cameras and 70 millimeter projectors and is going to actually show the film in theaters in 70 millimeter and 50 locations. Sam Mendes' uh, Bond film Spectre is also being shot on film, David O. Russell's Joy is being shot on film, and Zack Snyder's Batman v Superman is being shot on film. Film offers a certain quality, a certain depth, a certain resonance that digital lacks. And the person who's been the most um, proactive about this is Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan shot his first film following in 1999 entirely on film, and he's been working in film ever since. Following was shot in 16 millimeter uh, on weekends with a small crew and people said why don't you shoot it digitally and he said because film offers a better quality. But in Hollywood, the Eastman Kodak Company almost stopped making film entirely and it was only because of Nolan's efforts that they started a new uh, program called Keep Kodak Open in which the five major Hollywood studios agreed to buy a certain amount of film each year. Martin Scorsese, for example, is another person who feels very strongly about film, saying filmmakers should have the choice of whether they want to shoot on film, and it's important to have that option. Film has a history, and that history doesn't begin with digital formats. It begins with film, and that's part of the art form. The light meets the emulsion, and extraordinary things happen. So yes, I believe it's essential to preserve that choice. Scorsese also noted that film is still the only preservation medium that we know to be durable. We just don't know about digital storage systems. They haven't been around long enough and more importantly they're always changing. I think it's important to preserve our pictures on film no matter how we've shot them or finished them. That means negatives and it means prints. Sean Price Williams, who is the cinematographer on a brilliant new film called Queen of Earth, said of shooting film, however, there are hardly any real choices left. That's an unfortunate thing that Kodak did because they started to focus their existing stocks based on how well they transferred to video. But other people who are also shooting film are Bennett Miller, for example, who shot Capote on film and Foxcatcher on film. And he said of that, before we shot Foxcatcher, I did extensive tests in camera and lenses and in post to manipulate the digital image to approximate the result we were looking for. When you put them side by side, the film image hits you in the gut immediately. There's a cleaner, drier feel to the digital image that doesn't quite have the dimension and weight of photochemical. Film communicates on many frequencies, so the aesthetics of the image itself, in my view, are very significant. Like that's good, Dan. Action. J.J. Abrams says, I appreciate how digital technology opens the doors for filmmakers who never had access to that level of quality before. However, I do think film sets the standard for quality. You can talk about range, light, sensitivity, resolution. There's something about film that's undeniably beautiful. I would hope filmmakers who are just getting started will be able to have this option as they continue in their careers because movies are nothing if not a romantic experience and film is a big part of that. Quentin Tarantino, of course, is the most polemical of all the filmmakers when it comes to this and says flatly, I hate that stuff. I shoot film. But to me, even digital projection is the death of cinema as I know it. And he shot effectively all of his work on film. And finally, this thought from A.B. Taubin, the, the critic who writes for a film Common, who came back from Cannes and said, I think that cinema is going through an extended period of mourning for itself. This will not be apparent to viewers who have grown up with nothing but digital movies, but when I went to the Cannes Film Festival and saw state-of-the-art restorations of things like Lady from Shanghai, the films had become a ghost, a paper-thin scan of their former selves. So digital cinema is something which is really cost-conscious for the studios because it does away with prints and advertising, and you can control it much more effectively because they have DCPs, digital cinema packages which come in little orange boxes. But film is a medium which is going to be sticking around for the indefinite future because it offers an alternative to the slickness and cleanness of digital and is, I think, a much more human medium. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon and this is Frame by Frame.